What's up, YouTube? It's Dom Universe. Today, I want to talk about uh, what's today's topic? Oh, how to how to get in tune with your higher self. Now, this I never got in depth on this topic as well, and and this is something everybody needs to know how to do because we ignore our higher self, and our higher self is always trying to channel us. Is always trying to channel us. And many every single day all the time your higher self is think about so life is like a video game right you have your avatar which is you this physical body you then you got your higher self which controls this body is your higher self is in a higher dimension than what this is your higher your subconscious is connected to your higher self remember that now a way you can uh, you can notice this right I'm gonna help y'all notice. Uh, I'm gonna help y'all. Okay, look. One way you can get in contact with your higher self, right, is that veil between sleep and awake. Before you fall into sleep, you gotta keep your conscience awake. You know how they say do that when you before you lucid dreaming. That's how you get in tune with your higher self. But that's not the only way. You can do this in many ways. Yo, now you gotta you gotta learn to uh, say fuck the ego. Not literally, but don't let the ego take control. The ego is associated with fear and control as well. So you got to just let things be. So relax, right? So here's something. Ask yourself a question right now. Inside of your head. Speak inside of your mind. Because that's where, that's where your higher self is at also. Speak without using your mouth, right? Ask yourself something. Like, what am I about to do today? What am I about to do? Anything. Just ask yourself anything, right? The question, the answer that you get back to your to your uh question, that is your higher self. Your higher self is that part of your mind. When you ask yourself a question, you get an answer right back. That's your higher self. That's your higher self. That's your subconscious mind. Higher self speaking to you through your subconscious mind. When you doing certain things, when you in a flow state, when you just doing things at ease without paying attention to it, you are being controlled by your higher self your higher self has tapped in so let's say you uh you you building a bunch of it could be anything you building a bunch of cell phones for example let's say you got to do a, a, a hundred cell phones and within an hour and you don't think you can do it but you end up you you building all the cell phones right now and you end up getting 150 done within that hour during that time that you're doing these cell phones, you just doing it easily like it's nothing. You just you just building these cell phones. You just building these cell phones. You built 150 out of nowhere. That's because your higher self took over. Your higher self took over. Let's say you in a video game. You playing a video game. You not you not necessarily aware of what's going on around you, but your higher self you you going dumb in the fucking video. You going fucking crazy in the video game. Your higher self is tapping. Your higher self does everything for you when you get in that flow state. It could be oftentimes when I'm doing videos, my higher self is happening. I'm not, it's not just, it's not me speaking consciously all the time. It's my higher self speaking through me because I even watch my videos, right? And I even learn from my videos. Like I, I like to look, watch myself do things. I even watch my videos sometimes. And when I do, I realize new information because sometimes when I'm speaking, and I'm giving all this information. That's my higher self coming in. It's tapping through. It's, it's giving y'all information. Another way. Any Anytime you around and you feel certain feelings. Just, I, this is why I say pay attention to your thoughts and feelings, right? When you around certain type of energy and you feel it in your body, your gut, whether it be your gut, your body, your whole body, your uh, heart, ETC, that's your higher self telling you. It could be telling you to get the fuck out of there. If you see something, right? It, let's say you see something. You looking at something. You probably shopping online. You scrolling, or you just looking at images. In your heart, you probably looking at. Let's say homes. Let's say you looking at homes to buy, and you scrolling through a list of houses. You see a bunch of houses. Yo, yo, you see one, and yo, you get this feeling in your heart. That's your higher self. Your higher self. Sometimes your higher self like to communicate you through your senses. So sometimes it, you can be in certain situations, certain moments, just anywhere. You could be even be in your room doing nothing. 
or just just doing anything your higher self may send you messages in your mind it could be a voice which is called clear audience it could be images that's a uh, clairvoyancy that's clairvoyancy it could be energy you could just feel like a random energy a random uh, emotion or feeling that's clear sentience you could get a uh, just a, a knowing just a knowing of something you just know that's clear cognizance it, all of this it can be your higher self they you get this stuff all the time a way you can also notice this is when you are sleepy as shit and it's late at night and you just probably one of those people who randomly say random shit when you sleepy like you just one of those kind of people who just say random things out of nowhere when you very sleepy that you are half asleep that's what people mean when they say i'm half asleep when they saying random dumb shit sometimes it's your higher self giving you uh random pieces of information sometimes if your uh your your uh pineal gland your first eye third eye ajna chakra is blocked or under active you may get random pieces of information that's useless and you don't even know what the hell it is but if it's neutral or not blocked or unbalanced it don't even have to be fully balanced as long as it's not under active you'll get right pieces of information now another thing is often people i know I, oftentimes i know people get these voices in their head they mind race when they wake up upon waking up they get just random thoughts out of nowhere random thoughts out of nowhere just random 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 just voice in his head and it's hard to stop it that's your higher self you just got done being asleep when you sleep you are your higher self so your your higher self is going back to its place slowly after you wake up it's slowly going back to its place and you are slowly coming back to your place and you may be getting all types of downloads of information from your higher self that is your higher self just giving you random random pieces of information oftentimes when that happened to me i'm getting information and some of this information i write down in the notes app and i give it out to y'all another way right you can get in tune with your higher self in your dreams you got to learn how to lucid dream that's all i'm gonna tell you i don't lucid dream that's not i don't i don't lucid dream uh I, it may happen on accident sometimes but that's not something i've been very informed on but i do know how to do it in a way but it's not something i'm used to you get me everybody has done this sometime in their life especially when they are sick some people call them sick dreams when they sick because you you i know y'all have been very sick had the flu or the fever or, or like a bad cold and you just having this weird as these weird ass dreams and you trying to sleep you keep waking up you keep waking up but you able to control these dreams speaking these dreams and sometimes you may even talk out loud while you sleeping uh just pay attention to your mind and your thoughts every like a majority and this is probably 99 percent of the popular i want i would say 90 90 95 90 to 95 percent of people on the planet don't pay attention to their thoughts and feelings that arise and sometimes lately i've been getting more used to doing it but sometimes we we tend to ignore them and think it's just a random feeling or a random thought you got to pay attention to these because these thoughts and these emotions are telling you a lot they telling you a lot these may be things that your soul, your uh, higher self is trying to help you get on the right path in life. And tell, or they may be trying to tell you to do certain stuff. That's how you get in tune with your higher self. Or you could do it during the meditation. Because your, your higher self, if you meditate and you quiet in your mind, another way you can get in tune with your higher self is quieting your mind. Learn to examine your thoughts, right? Learn to examine your thoughts. You don't have to react to your thoughts or identify with your thoughts. You do not, I, your, your thoughts are not you. Your thoughts do not define you. But your thoughts, learn to examine them so that you can, in a way, learn to control them. And then you can learn to quiet the mind and you can better get your, uh, you can better get uh, your downloads of information or hear your higher self speaking through you. You can do this anytime. You don't have to 
be sleep. You don't have to have your eyes closed or be doing meditation. You could be anywhere, any place, any time. Just, just doing nothing. Not inside of your head. Yo, you will oftentimes get downloads of information, random thoughts. But no, sometimes thoughts are not your own. But you will be able to differentiate if your your higher self is speaking through you. Especially if you had a high vibration. If you had a high vibration, this see if you got mental fog, it's gonna be hard for you. If you don't have mental clarity, it's going to be hard for you to to get in tune with your higher self through your mind. That is why these the senses are called clair at the beginning of them clairvoyancy clairsentience clairaudience claircognizance and there's more clair uh sentences uh senses than that i get all of them but it's not it's not every day that i take notice of them because i may be doing something at that moment and have my attention on something else but this is why you got to learn to be able to have most of your uh, attention on yourself not be self-centered that's not what i mean but being just just listen to your mind if you run away from your mind and your thoughts you will never be able to control it if you got always got a bunch of thoughts in your mind and you probably put on headphones often when this and you don't like to be around quiet where you have to deal with your thoughts sit and deal with your thoughts you will never learn how to control your thoughts you may even get yourself depression and anxiety that's pretty much it. I love y'all. I'm here to help. Dom Universe taking off. Like, subscribe. Peace.